So there was quite a lot going on online after the first trailer dropped. Um, first negative and then in incredibly positive later. Um, I was wondering what was the initial idea behind the first Sonic version because it didn't look bad, it's just different. Um, I think it's just there was a level of realism that we probably went a little bit too far with. I think what the fans were responding to is just it just lost that sort of that key um, component the, uh, of Sonic's character. I mean, just they just didn't recognize that or see it in him. So I think mm -hmm. the that little bit of design adjustment was incredibly important just for them to to, to connect with and, and recognize the character that they love. So when the second trailer uh, dropped, as I said, the, the reaction was incredibly positive. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering, before it dropped, were you nervous or did you have a good feeling that this time it will be different? Uh, well, I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but we definitely yeah. were feeling very excited and very confident. I feel like we, the team really rallied and, and we all came together and, and uh, we're very excited about revealing the sort of version 2.0 um, of, the, of the Sonic character. And yeah, fortunately, the fans loved it and, and yeah. we were certainly very relieved. So in general, what was it about the Sonic video games that made you believe that this would work as a movie? Uh, just Sonic as a character. I think movies come down to, to great characters and I think Sonic has such a, a just uh, there's a relatability to him. I mean, I remember as a 13 year old kid, like just his attitude and just his uh, just the, the confidence and this kind of swagger. I mean, you just didn't see yeah. that in video game characters back then. And, and it just really resonated with me as a, as a kid and as a teenager being like, that Sonic kind of like talks like me and, and my friends. And I think that that uh, is why he's around almost 30 years later is there's, there's a relatability to him and a fun and, and something uh, that, that, that just uh, a guy you'd love to be around, a friend you'd like to have, uh, is, is why the character is so popular. And, and, and based off of that, we just felt like we could tell, tell a really great movie. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's still, it feels like that, that video game adaptations still don't have the best reputation. And now that you've made your, your own one, a fun one, i got to say. Um, <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> um, what do you think, why it seems to be so hard to make a good movie based on a video game? Uh, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time, or, or the team didn't spend a lot of time uh, trying to wrap our heads around the video game to film. Like, we just wanted to make a great movie and base yeah. it off of a great character, I think. Um, the Because the other version where, where you're just, you have a checklist of, oh, this is what people love about the game. I and mean, we love doing Easter eggs, but we wanted to make mm -hmm. sure that we were just making a fun family film that had a lot of action, a lot of humor but just some real heart and emotion. And I think that's what we focused on the most, was making Sonic just a very relatable character uh, and just somebody that, that you would really have fun um, going on this journey with. What would you say as a filmmaker, how important is it to keep your inner child alive? Because I still play Sonic games and some friends will call will say, hey, you're with Age of 30, why do you play Sonic? But it's fun. And so uh, when it comes down to filmmaking, uh, how important is it for you to keep your inner child alive to make a movie like Sonic? Oh, it's, it's, it's probably the most important thing. I mean, I, I, I come from the world of animation and I think I see it in all the artists and, and all the people that I've worked with. That everyone has that same just, just love of their childhood and, and, yeah. and love of... of, of it, but I think it all comes down, it's imagination. I think imagination, kids are so great at, at imag uh, imagination, using their imaginations to, to, to have fun and tell stories. And you see that in Sonic. I mean, we did that a lot in the movie. Uh, there's the baseball scene, which we love. Uh, I just thought was so sort of representative of the fun we could have with this character that, like, who hasn't sort of called their own sports game or pretend they're, they're, the, sh the clock's counting down at the end of the, uh, they have to hit the game winning shot. So we just thought we could use Sonic uh, to just tell a very relatable story and have a lot of fun, all based on just the joy of being a kid. Mm -hmm. Right. One of the great things that Sonic uh, is able to do is, of course, you can speed things up. Mm -hmm. um, if you would be able to do the opposite, to slow things down, what would it be? Just in life? Yeah, or maybe about filmmaking. Um, well, I mean, it's funny because the visual effects industry is, is sort of very uh, slow in, in, in oh, a sense. Okay. It takes very long. To, it seems like it takes long to do stuff just because there's so many points in the process. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't slow the visual effects process down any further, but, I, um, uh, but it's, I love it. And, and I come from that world and, and there's so many people that, that went into making Sonic a great character. I mean, the, the, the animators, the compositors, the, the people that put the fur on him. I mean, it really takes, it's a team effort to, um, um, to make him look so great. But uh, 
Yeah, they, uh, I don't, slowing stuff down, I don't, not that I'm, I'm going to slow my, <laughs> my son's uh, development down right now because he's, <laughs> okay. he's eight months old and, and I feel like he's already grown up too fast, so. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So we'll slow down time a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, the great thing is about that is that you won Jim Carrey for the role of Robotnik. Mm -hmm. And the, the fun thing about him is that he's not a sequel guy. Um, but he mentioned that he wouldn't mind to make a second Sonic movie. Mm -hmm. So how much does it mean to you that Jim Carrey will prefer doing Sonic 2 than, rather than Mask 2 or I feel anything like else? That's the best compliment I could have received is that right. uh, Jim had so much fun in this movie that he wants to, to go, get back out there and, and do it again. And I think we all feel the same way. I mean, we just had so much fun making this movie and I just know audiences are going to have that same kind of fun when they watch it because it was just such a uh, just a wonderful experience so but it's the best best compliment imaginable that, that Jim Carrey would want to play this character again right and if you get the opportunity to make a sequel what would you like to explore a little bit uh, you know th th certainly there are other characters none of which I will go into uh, right now but just yeah. there's certainly I mean Sonic's been around for 30 years there are a lot of stories there are a lot of characters that I think uh, fans would love to see brought into the, into the movie world so um, but that's that's a, an exciting uh, an exciting idea that, to get to tell more stories so uh, you know hopefully we get to yeah absolutely I fingers uh, thumbs up uh, fingers crossed yeah <laughs> <laughs>